Welcome to our lecture online. Here we have an interesting problem for you. A circle, a bunch of lines, and we're trying to find the values for x, y, and z. They do give us some information. They tell us that the arc, the measure of this arc here is 30 degrees, and the measure of the arc from b to d is 134 degrees. So how do we find the value for x? Well, notice that we're given this measure for the arc, and we're given the measure of the arc over here. And notice that those two lines cross right here at this point. And so the measure of this angle, which is equal to the measure of this angle on the other side, is equal to one half the sum of these two. So that makes it easier to find x. So what we can say here is that x degrees is equal to one half the sum of the measure of the arc over here plus the me measure of the arc over here. So it would be 134 degrees plus 30 degrees, which is one half times 164 degrees, which is 82 degrees. And that is the result for x. So that was relatively straightforward. How about y? Well, to find y, we need to have the measure of this arc right here. But notice we have the angle on this side, and we know that this angle here is half the measure of this. So this here would be 2 times 59 degrees, which is 118 degrees. So now we know the measure of the arc from B to E. Now we can find the value for Y, because we know that Y degrees is equal to 1 half the measure of that arc, which is 118 degrees, which is 59 degrees, and so that's the answer for y. Now we have z left. Hmm. To find z, we need to know the measure of this arc right here. But we know the measure of this arc, we know the measure of that arc, we know the measure of this arc, so this would be 360 minus the sum of the other three. So that means that this here would be 360 degrees, minus 134 degrees, minus 118 degrees, and minus 30 degrees. So this is equal to 360 degrees minus, adding these together, that gives us 144, 152, 182. Hmm. 282, because it's 200, 2, so 260, 70, 82. So 282 degrees. Subtract so from 360, that's 60 plus 18, which is 78 degrees. So that is the measure of this arc right here. And notice that z is opposite to that. We know therefore that z must be half the measure of that. So therefore z degrees is equal to one half the measure of that arc, which is 78 degrees. Therefore z equals 39 degrees. And there you go. That is how it's done. Let's see there.